kind of going out there and taking care of business. Yeah, it's always good uh, to go win a series on the road. I know it's, I guess the team didn't win a single road series last year, so it's good to get that first one out of the way and kind of get that experience, especially for the, the new guys and the young guys. Are you jumping right in, uh, not really skipping a beat since day one when you walked out here uh, with a Razorback uniform on. How just talk about your comfortability level and how easy it is for you to come out here and, you know, get it done. Mm -hmm. I've, I've said this before and I'll stick with it. It's I think I've, I've got experience on a lot of the guys on the team and um, three full college seasons so I definitely take that experience to the yard every day. How's your arm feeling and uh, you think you'll play first base again against Memphis or what's your schedule looking like? I think as of now I'll be the first base still but the arm's getting better and I think it'll continue to get better as it warms up and be able to loosen up more. Yeah. Any timeline at all um, that you've talked with DVH and the trainers about maybe you can make that shift over to second base? No, um, not really. I think it's we're going to have to play by ear and, and really see when that strength gets back. Are you still first working at second in practice? I am. I'm doing both. This is the first of 14 straight home games. How, how do you feel about that? I'm, I'm sure you guys had to travel a little bit more to the southeast. Oh, uh, absolutely. We spent a lot of time on the road. Um, but 14 games in a row with these fans, it'll be special. I think it'll be really good. More cold temperatures in the forecast. How do you guys stay warm? How do you stay limber in the dugout and out on the field? Uh, I think you just got to dress properly for one and just keep moving, try not to sit down too much. Um, whether you're in the game or not, especially if you're not in the game, you got to be moving around and wearing your coat so you're ready to go if your name's called. What can you do mentally to kind of battle the, the cold? Or is it all physical? Uh, I, I think it's definitely mental. I mean, if you can just block that part of it out, and if you're moving around, I think you're fine. Yeah, what do you think of Nesbitt's uh, defense so far third? It's been really good. He made a play, I guess, in, in the first game the other day at USC, um, the diving play that saved a run. That was a really good play, and he'll continue to make plays like that. Casey's moved over from third, and everybody says he's tremendously athletic and short, but he's had a, a few bobbles so far. Do you think that's just the newness to the position? I think so, and, and it's early, and so hopefully you know, you know, he's going to get those out of the way and go more comfortable as the season goes on. He's already made some fantastic plays, and that'll continue to happen. You ain't about Memphis at all? Uh, played them once in my career, but don't really know anything about their team this year. Heston kind of is off to a slow start at the plate. Well, what are you seeing from him? Uh, you know, I think he's had some at-bats where he swung at some pitches he probably wishes he hadn't, and that's probably been the big thing. But, you know, sooner rather than later, he'll probably heat up and, and guys will not be looking forward to facing him.